Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I will just ask questions today. What do we understand when we talk about great tribulation? What are we talking about? Um, because I assume most of us who are coming, you have studied this thing. And if you have not, I will still encourage you to do it. We provide booklets so that everybody will read. So what are we talking about? What did the preacher say? There is one person there. Uh, please put up your hand. What, what, what do you really understand? Any other person? Yes, my sister. Please uh, use the microphone. It's going to be a very terrible time. Uh, no peace. Uh, it's just going to be a very awful time to, to live in. I don't want to be there. Thank you. God bless you. Yes, uh, my brother. And we are talking about the Great Tribulation. What is it all about? What are we talking about? The passage is talking about God's time, God's judgment today. How that period is going to be. How and when the, the church must have been raptured and those that are left behind, what they are going to face at that time, God's anger is going to be upon everything on earth, both human being and all the good he created. So thank you very much. You mentioned something about rapture. What is rapture? You said that great tribulation will happen after the rapture. Now, for some people coming newly to the church or you know, you have not read the Bible as much as you. Rapture. What is rapture? What is it? Please, anybody, if you know it, uh, uh, I want to call. Yes, please, could you? Yes, please. Is there a rapture? What is rapture? Um, rapture is when Jesus Christ is going to come to earth mm -hmm. and the saints who ascend with him. And um, those that are dead also would rise. And Everybody that has died? No, those that are born again. Okay, they were born again and, and they now died. died. Yeah, they would ascend. And then, yeah, those that are born again, everybody would go. And then those that are not born again would remain and then face the tribulation. Thank you very much. In other words, these things that we have just talked about today is very practical. It's very simple. What we are saying is that great tribulation is coming. And before that great tribulation comes, because God will not allow his own children to suffer with those who are disobedient, he takes them away. And then what happens? The room is left open for the devil. The Bible tells us the person that is preventing problem on that scale at the moment. Who is the person preventing the problem? Who is the person that is ensuring that that, that level of problem, there are still problems, but that level of problem of great tribulation, that are, it has not come. Who is the person pre, uh, pre, uh, preventing it? The Bible says it is the Holy Spirit. Because of whom? Why? Because of whom? Because of whom? Because of whom? Okay, because of us, somebody else said something. I heard something. Because you are here. Do you understand now? So the, the thing we want to be doing, and when you are coming to church, please prepare. 
You understand? The start the scriptures, we are going to be searching the scriptures. So nobody is going to be giving you a lecture. Are you following? Yes. You will be there because you study it before you come. And then it becomes something that, because if, I, if we don't dump the thing to you, like in the lecture hall, of what profit is it? Because you say, okay, let them say, blah, 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 blah. And when they finish, they go. But to help you, because the whole purpose why the preachers are laboring, the whole purpose why they are fasting and praying, is that those of us listening to them, we will be able to take the word of God and it will profit us. So when we are talking about a great tribulation, it's something to avoid in your life. Those who are born again, they will not be here at that time. So the only thing that will help you not to be here when the devil is punishing the people is that you are born again and you keep born again. Because the teacher also mentioned that there are some careless believers, backsliders, because in the question he said, what do backsliders do? There are some people, maybe because of problem, because of uh, job, because of money, they were born again before, but they now said, yeah, what, is, what will this bad right do me? And then they forsake the Lord. Well, during the great tribulation, those people will be here. You don't want to be here. And the only reason why we are doing this and teaching this is so that I, you, we will not be a part of the people. Because if anybody will be here during the great tribulation, what are the chances the person will be able to get to heaven? Because if in the time of free grace, people don't get saved, is it in the time of tribulation when the people will be so much thinking about their own problems? So the counsel to you and to me today is, if you are not sure whether your name is in the book of life or not, today is another day. The judgment day has not come. The great tribulation has not come. So I have a chance today to say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Take away my sins. What is sin? Eh? Adultery. If I'm married and I go and meet, meet somebody else, that is adultery. If I'm not married and I'm you know, meeting with people you know, in, in that way, that is fornication. If I'm stealing, stealing from the government. Eh? Okay, I said I have uh, uh, three children and you only, you only have one. I said I had two in Africa. That is, that is sin. And, uh, you know, many of those things, we now say, okay, Lord Jesus, take my sins away. God is not condemning me. He's not condemning you today. The day of condemnation has not come. But if somebody has not believed in Jesus, the Bible says he's already condemned himself. So why should God condemn you again? Because we are condemned already. The thing is that you should be free from that condemnation and say, Lord Jesus, take my sins away. Do you know if we do this, we become born again. We become children of God. And if you are backsliding, you become restored to, to the Lord again. And it becomes very easy. You can grow every day spiritually. It will happen to you in Jesus' name. Amen. So let us rise up and pray. You can tell the Lord. If you are born again already, you ask the Lord, Lord, keep me until you come. And if you are not born again, I'm inviting you today. You can just say, Lord Jesus, I want you to save my soul. I want you to change my life. I want you to come into my heart and come into my spirit so that I myself, I will become born again. I want to escape the time of terrible judgment in the great tribulation. Let's call upon the name of the Lord.